no, no, one, no one gave me nothing. Um, so to be able to now finally um, earn my respect the hard way. C'est une histoire d'espoir pour ceux qui souffrent, ceux en qui personne ne croit. My life helped me um, to prepare for these moments. I took the hardest road to get here. I truly believe this is my time now. À la fin du film, oui, c'est possible de ne plus jamais avoir peur. I felt like I belonged there. For a long time, the thing that I remember most about Nigeria was my mom raising all three of us. Dominant ou dominé, tout champion construit sa légende sur des failles. Kamaru Ousmane est né dans une des provinces du Nigeria, deuxième d'une fratrie de trois garçons élevé par la rigueur d'une maman institutrice et d'un père militaire. Un père, très vite absent, parti en quête d'un avenir meilleur pour les siens de l'autre côté de l'Atlantique. There was a lot of opportunities here, so I feel this was where they can uh, uh, grow their potential and uh, be who they want to be. La famille le rejoindra au milieu des années 90. Ousmane a alors 8 ans. Le début du rêve américain. I told my father, I said, I'm going to go out for wrestling. And I just remember him saying, what? Like stone cold wrestling? I'm like, no, no, not like that, dad. I'm not getting hit with chairs. And so I just didn't tell him. I quickly fell in love with the sport. The harder I trained, the better the result that I got. I got out what I put in. Until my junior year, I think my mom is the one that actually uh, caught me because I was wrestling in a city tournament, which was televised. And my mom happened to be flipping through TV one day, and here I was on TV wrestling. My son, what did you do for TV? What were you doing on TV? <laughs> Towards that senior year, I think that's when my father realized that I was at, because I'm sure she told him. And um, I had to explain to him. And I was kind of ashamed of being so absent from most of his uh, fights. But they don't understand the, kind of the dynamic. My dad was always working. My dad was a very, very, very hardworking man. Le rêve vire au cauchemar un matin au début des années 2010, lorsque le père de Camarou, à la tête d'une société d'ambulance, est inculpé dans une affaire de fraude à l'assurance maladie. Les responsabilités sont floues, la sentence, elle, est implacable. Some murderers get less time than that. How do you justify giving him that much fucking time? I just remember feeling so powerless. And I have to put myself in his reality and that he has to go into this into a cell. My father was never really there when I was competing as an athlete. But now that they took my father from me to where he couldn't come at all, even if he wanted to, it grew the chip that was on my shoulder.
grown up in Jamaica, and I had to be born in Jamaica in a, it's like, it's like a basic wooden shack with zinc roof. Having gang wars in your area and being, being up to go under, go under, going under your bed so you don't get shot and stuff like that. It wasn't a safe environment for a child to grow up. Everything a man or woman goes through in life plays a part in who they are as, 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 a, as an adult. My dad was involved in gangs. From there, he graded to the UK for a better life. So when I was younger, I, I was looking up to my dad because he was like the, the head of the gang. Everyone respected him. Everyone treated me with respect because of, of him. So as a kid, he inspired to be like that. That was my reality at the time. My dad being involved in, in, in gangs and drugs, that was the cause of, of, of his death. He got murdered when I was 13 years old. My mum took over both roles, playing mother and father. She was the one that got me into MMA. Even though she didn't do it for a career path, she did it to basically to save her son from getting involved deeper into going to prison or dead or stabbed. She did it from that part of her, of her heart. By God's grace, it worked out to be a career for me and a path that I've chose to now I can use to provide a better life for her. The more I got involved in it, the more I started researching it, the more I started seeing different fighters, and I was like Googling what kind of money do they make, and I was like, okay, you can actually make like a career out of this. Switch off, let's go. That drove me more into the gym, more into like dedicating myself. I train in the morning, and I stay in the gym all day, then I train again at night. Let's go. Keep your shape, keep your balance. They may save my life and show me a different path. For me, what drives me is the not having, the growing up in, in horrible conditions. That I, I couldn't imagine my son now that I've got grown up in. Choisir le MMA pour faire carrière au pays de la boxe anglaise, un chemin hasardeux. Leon Edwards écume les ligues locales. Ses premiers combats sont révélateurs. This is bad times for Damien as Leon punches up and he's looking to land strikes and the referee all over the situation. A fast stoppage from some jackhammering ground and pound. Essentiellement debout, le sol, c'est juste pour finir le boulot. And again, him a fist to the back. And the referee's going to stop this. He's seen enough. Violent parfois. Start from Leon Rocky Edwards. He's sliding in. There it is. Wow. Calculateur. Toujours. It's tapped. Wow. Il s'y fait un surnom, Rocky, l'outsider par excellence. Huit victoires pour une défaite sur disqualification, suffisant pour s'ouvrir les portes de l'UFC. Mais dès son premier combat, face à un spécialiste du sol, on voit les limites d'un tempérament attentiste.
même s'il inflige ensuite un des chaos les plus rapides de l'UFC. Après trois combats, le bilan est mitigé. A l'opposé aux états unis Kamaru Ousmane est doué pour la lutte, l'aristocratie des sports de combat. Mais cela reste un sport amateur. Pour briller, direction le MMA, où la lutte prédomine. Son père aurait préféré un autre destin pour son fils. Médecin ou avocat. One day he came to me at the jailhouse. Dad, this is what I like to do. I said, for what? Why do you want to do this? So I showed him the clips of me sparring. I said, well, behind the glass, I told him, if that's what you want to do, you got my blessings. Passé pro en 2012, Ousmane obtient la chance de sa vie en 2015. The Ultimate Fighter, la télé-réalité de l'UFC, son tremplin pour la gloire. The ultimate fighter goes to South Florida. Two of the best MMA teams in the world compete. Et le lien qui doit tenir à tout prix avec son père. He said that the UFC stuff was always in on the TV there. And after the fight, you see people coming to hug. Les mecs vont me dire, ils vont me dire, « Hey, votre fils va être un champion un jour. » Le gagnant est Ousmane. Ses fights étaient les highlights. Quand j'étais en prison. Passons à ma carrière, à ce que j'ai maintenant signé à l'UFC. La première chose que j'ai demandé, « Est-ce que mon fils va pouvoir voir ça Je vais le broadcaster. » That was my only concern, and I tried to make sure that that was there each and every time. C'est fou comme les plus grandes sagas peuvent naître dans l'anonymat le plus total. En combat préliminaire d'une soirée ordinaire, les routes de Kamaru Usman et Leon Edwards se croisent très tôt dans leur carrière. Watch the left high kick. Oh, oh, oh. oh he got tagged by a hard left. No, this hurt. Edwards yeah. is hurt. You can tell by him backing up. Kamari was just shooting constantly for takedowns. He was in his wheelhouse. Back then, he was just a wrestler. The whole camp was about defending his wrestling, and it was more like a defensive mindset more than what I need to do to him to win. Et ce soir-là, il n'y a pas photo. He's landing huge shots here. Big third round for Usman. Trop timide, Edwards n'impressionne guère. Il n'est qu'une étape sur la route d'une pépite programmée pour régner sur la catégorie des Walters. Je start focusing on myself, focusing on being a better martial artist, not just a striker. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ousmane. When I got into the sport, I wanted to compete. But you don't get into wrestling for money or fame. No one knows who really the best wrestler in the world is. You get into it for the glory of it. Don't sell this. Get ready. I'm a pro. What? There's a there's something inside which what makes us addicted. Something inside to where you get the best of another man. You get to break their will. I'm the most dominant and most well-rounded welterweight on the planet. Nobody can stop me. He wants to make a statement tonight. He wants to really pronounce him as, I am the next in line for the title shot. Now, Rafael Dos Anjos. You broke them. Applied suffocating pressure to Dos Anjos from the very beginning. Broke something inside him. That's more powerful than anything. It's almost like collecting souls. This night will belong to the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. You know, I got into this sport and I made a, a statement. I'm coming for that welterweight strap. Michael Jordan was like that. 
We chase and we strive for perfection. You have to obsess about these things. Kamaru Usman will compete for the UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. This is the best welterweight on the planet Earth. This is the top level of the video game. Oh, and he hit Tyron with a big elbow. This is the most dominant we have ever seen anyone against Tyron in a fight for the Ooh. title. Look at that, constantly digging, digging, digging. That is nasty stuff, folks. Oh, Ooh. big uppercut. That goes to attention. Willie's in trouble here. Big uppercuts. The end could be coming. Oh, he's hurt bad. Trying to dump Willie oh. here and does. That's it. We got a new champ, folks. is one of the most impressive title winning efforts I have ever seen in my entire career. The big question was how would he do against the best in the world? And it turns out he is the best in the world. Man, happy for you, bro. For the first time I ever we'll seen see a UFC again. fight. We were at the same house same party. House Chuck party. Liddell was fighting in Fort Dodge, Iowa. We, Iowa. we watched it at a house party. This is yeah. kind of surreal. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Look at this suit, too. though. Hey, you know I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like boy, you clean. Listen to me now. Kamaru Usman vient d'intégrer le gratin des sports de combat. L'Afrique en fait immédiatement une de ses légendes. Aux côtés d'autres champions de l'UFC, Israël Adesanya et Francis Nganou. Le Nigérian symbolise l'apogée d'une domination, celle des lutteurs sur les strikers à l'UFC. Ce qui en fait le numéro 1 toute catégorie confondue. By unanimous decision, the Nigerian nightmare. Come on. Mais trop dominant, trop implacable, ça gagne. Mais c'est chiant. Usman est un élite. Il est le nouveau JSP. Il est le complet fighter. Il peut pretty much do everything. No one cares. No one cares about him. He has no charisma. You're boring, man. People would rather watch flies than watch you fight. December fake 14, news. That's why your name's Marty Fake News, man. No one me, cares about you. And you're gonna Shut up. Get Stop talking. Real. Oh! There's a knockdown for Kamaru Usman! But now I want to dominate and get those finishes. Feel good! That is how you finish a fight! 15 underdog Burns is in green. Usman is in the black and gold befitting a champion. The fight clock. Pendant qu'Ousman s'élève au firmament, Edwards connaît lui les tourments du purgatoire. That's all we focus on improve myself and to put myself in places that I didn't enjoy, which is wrestling and grappling. He's a good listener. He's like a sponge. He takes things in. And if you don't get it right, he won't leave it till he does master it. Nice hips from Leon, stopping that takedown attempt. Now look at this. He's huge for the weight class as well. He's very tall, he's very long. 
He never comes in out of shape. He's extremely disciplined. Good finish there, though. He lifted the leg, but couldn't secure position. But this is still tight. Here. This is tight. He can't have it. Leon Edwards by submission. He's a supreme athlete. He's, he's got the striking. You know, he's, he's an excellent wrestler. He knows his jits. He's fit. He can go for five rounds. He's got all the weapons. It's a great show. Huit victoires d'affilée, la deuxième plus longue série derrière Kamaru Usman. Pour n'importe qui, le ticket vers une chance mondiale. Mais l'UFC voit ça autrement. He was disgruntled. He'd been on this fantastic run. He wasn't the main attraction. Leon, because of his character, who's a bit laid back and the social media and the shouting off at the gob, that's not his thing. <laughs> When he came out on fight night and he's getting booed by his home fans, that must have really stung Leon and he didn't deserve it. Un délit de sale gueule Peut-être. Mais le style y est pour beaucoup. Seulement deux victoires avant la limite sur les huit dernières. Il y a comme un malentendu autour d'Edwards. Vu comme un striker, il débite deux fois moins de coups significatifs que Kamaru Usman, pourtant considéré lui comme ennuyeux. Mars 2020, il tient enfin la reconnaissance et l'opportunité avec un main event chez lui en Angleterre. Mais à la même époque, c'est le monde entier qui est à l'arrêt. NBA suspended, NHL suspended, I mean sports in general suspended. A lot of sports organizations with billions of dollars behind them have shut things down. Now, it's very unclear about what's going to happen next. Leon Edwards is the guy who gets the short end of the stick in all of this. And right now, guess what? I'm pulling it off. Toujours pas de Kamaru Usman en vue. On lui donne un jeune loup à la place. Now from there, I got matched up with Hamza. Le combat est annulé. Pas une fois. Pas deux fois. Hamza Chimaev is still suffering from the effects of COVID mais trois fois. Finalement, après 18 mois d'attente, c'est Belal Muhammad qui est désigné. Mais là encore, le sort s'acharne. à force de réclamer, il obtient un nom, une légende, Ned Diaz, vainqueur entre autres de Conor McGregor, certainement l'un des combattants les plus populaires de l'UFC. Son exact opposé, un taré qui s'en fout de gagner. Face à un calculateur qui a peur de perdre. Mais ironie de l'histoire, même quand il gagne, 
La gloire se refuse à Leon Edwards. Even like people that like close to me said so, like, I did not respect you go to another, another promotion. I kept saying nah, like I had a feeling that I'm meant to be the UFC world champion. I need it. it's gonna happen. En se bouchant le nez, l'UFC finit par lui accorder cette faveur. Sept ans après, Edwards tient sa revanche. Faute de prétendant, Kamaru Usman a nettoyé la catégorie. My mindset with Leon is Leon's a dangerous opponent. He's very game and, and he believes this is his time. That's one of the hardest parts that a lot of people don't understand is when a guy comes up and, and the guy believes that it's his time. You know, even more dangerous that it's, this is his second time fighting me. So he's felt me before. So when he truly believes this is his time and he's going to get it done, that's a very dangerous opponent to deal with. And, and that's kind of what I do best right now. I'm letting these guys know that there's a huge gap between me and them. When he starts moving away, you know, he's on the back foot and he starts dropping to the side. That's when we're looking for the head yeah, kick. Well. Yeah. Bam. See myself like, even sometimes I've pushed myself losing the fight and coming back and winning the fight. I've created a lot of scenarios in my head. So I'm not shocked when once I go in there and it's crazy because what you're picturing in your head is <laughs> what happens on the night, you know, but I always picture my, head, my hand raised at the end of it and that's it. He's certainly going to come across a very different Leon than he did the first time. Interesting night. I am confident. I am ready. I truly believe this is my time and I believe I, I am right where I should be. So I'm looking forward to going out there and shocking the world and showing them that I am the number one. Let's be honest, he don't want to wrestle with me. I've been doing this for almost over 20 years, and you, seven years, you, yeah. It's not going to get better than mine. It's going to be effective, but it's not going to get better than mine. The guys all have momentum, that's your fight. How often do you draw back to those days where you had those little bit of insecurities? Every day, every day, I'm still scared. Yeah, I'm we scared. all gotta I'm, be. Yeah, I'm scared of Leon right now. I'm worried his one, two is flu more fluid than mine. Yeah. It's slicker than mine. It might be a little bit faster than mine. You know, but the one thing I gotta remember myself is when he throws his one, two, it look nicer, slicker. But when I throw my one, two, they go to sleep. Oh, yeah, you're behind the ah! Boom. The magnitude of the task is big. People recognize Kamado Usman as pound for pound the best fighter on the planet. He's never been beaten in the UFC. Nobody's even looked like getting close with this fella. Let's go! Jamais mis KO. Invaincu à l'UFC. Un record de 19 victoires consécutives chez les pros à aller chercher. C'est écrit 
Kamar Ousmane va rejoindre les plus grands. La gloire est pour ce soir. Live from a sold out Vivid Arena here in Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. This is UFC 278, Ousmane versus Edwards 2. First round, the fight's going on, and boom, he hooked my leg, and I'm, and this is my back. Oh, oh my goodness! In the full battle! And what a goodness! That is a takedown first time Usman has been grounded in his UFC career. So I tried to hit him through, but he just had great position. I get taken down. That, I probably was more upset about. Giving up that takedown, I was like, fuck! And this is unfamiliar to Usman. He hasn't dealt with this. Being on the bottom. And Leon is moments away from taking his back. Nice little elbow there by Leon. What a start for the underdog challenger. The bell goes off and I get up. And I was kind of smiled. I am going to make this be whatever I want. And so the next round, I just take off. Don't make him bully you, Leon. Don't let him bully you, son. Don't let him bully you. Oh, wow. And he gets him again easy this time. But then that happens, right? Usman comes back, returns, puts him back down. So even if Edwards gets back up, he got taken down and Usman landed shots on him. On s'ennuie. Un air de déjà vu, scénario connu, remake sans saveur, et une fin cousue de fibre. Dominant third round for the champ, Kamaru Usman. Listen, listen, you gotta get fucking lively now, Leon. You're too down. Come on, come on, you're letting him control you too much, son. You gotta get your hands going, Leon. You gotta get your hands going. Come on. Look for your clinch, Leon. Wonderful. Two more rounds. Stay disciplined. No mistakes. I've been forward, dude. Like you said, Joe, he's got to give respect. Take it down again. He kind of submitted to that one. That was far too easy. That was the easiest takedown Usman's got. Leon has kind of accepted getting taken down. Yes. The post is defending with all of himself before the takedown happens. The skill and ability to compete with Usman. But right now, what's separating him is just Usman's spirit. Beautiful. Big shot by the champ. Body shot for Usman now. Oh, it covers up. And now Rambo got it all over. Usman letting it all go now. 20 minutes down, five to go. Listen, stop feeling sorry for your oh. fucking self. Well, come on then. What's wrong with you? You're too fucking down. You gotta pull the shit out of the fire. Special. Come on, Leon, man. You got it, man. Come on. You got exceptions on the presses, though. Yeah. You got 
By the fifth round, if I can get the finish, I'm gonna try to get that finish. And I wanna do something spectacular. And what I wanted to do was set him up and I was gonna throw the punches that he couldn't see. Pendant 30 secondes, plus rien ne se passe. Quand tout semble acquis, quand tout semble perdu, I rode as long. My life was, has been a harder life than the normal in Ireland. I have created, I have worked so hard to get to this moment until I decide. All right, you guys can have it. I'm done. I want to be respected. He may have resigned himself to losing a decision. It's worse each and every time you win, you should climb up that ladder. And the, the pressure gets bigger and bigger and bigger because now you have more and more to lose each and every time. It's, it's never enough. It's never enough. It's like, where does it stop? This all adds to that pressure of being champion because at some point you just want to, you just want the noise to stop. That is not the cloth from which he is cut. His kicks are very fast, even in round five. The journey I took to get there, the ups and downs, it kept me mentally still in the fight. Fuck! What do you know? it. N'oublie pas que toute ta vie peut changer. En un geste. I shake left, I shake right, and I'm sitting in the ambulance and they're asking me, uh, do you know where you're at? We thought he was dejected and defeated. He head kicked Kamara Usman into the shadow realm. Leon gave me like a 20 minute nap. God is on my side. I said it all week. I felt like this is my moment. Everything happened in the past. The two years out, the pandemic, all of it. They all said I couldn't come back and do it. There is no ring rust. I told you that already. Now look at me now. Champion of the world. Champion of the world. Look at me now. I was born in 
Jamaica with nothing. I don't even know what this shirt is in, Cruz. Look at me now. Look at me now. It's track season. We got it, baby. Mom, I told you. I told you, Mom. I told you, I did. I've watched the fight over maybe like 10 times and my eyes were open, which was weird. So people would like screen grab that and make a fake page with that as the, the avatar and have a page dedicated to that. Like you got knocked on. Arena here in London, England. This is UFC 286. Edwards versus Usman Pri. Auteur du chaos le plus tardif de l'histoire de l'UFC, Edwards lui a volé sa légende et un peu de son âme. Sept mois plus tard, Usman a droit à une belle, mais quelque chose a basculé. La peur a changé de camp. Et si le dernier acte de cette trilogie est équilibré, cette fois l'anglais maîtrise totalement le danger. I've always gave him, you know, gave him props for everything he's been able to accomplish. And, uh, you know, just like me, you know, he's a brother and much respect. But what do you want to see next? I know you're the champion. I know they're supposed to call your name. But there's a guy here that likes to talk, and he's sitting in the crowd, and he'll be looking for a fight. That man sat out for like a year and a half, two years. He ain't fought nobody. I might take a little trip to Miami, see what them, them two autos are going on with him. I'll see what's going on from there. My goal now is to be the best ever world player of all time, you know, so just keep raining, keep raining on the beat GSP record for the title defenses. Out there being double champ, wow. first ever from the UK anyway to, to do it. So yeah, like I said, I'm the king now, I've earned my way. And also I, I, I feel like I should decide. Um, who's next? You did make Colby Covington versus Leon. I did. That night. Yes, I did. That is true. But that was a no-brainer. If Usman doesn't exist, Colby's been the champ now for a while. There was only real one ma one real main event in the building tonight, and that was me. Yeah, I didn't see anything special, man. I, it's like he got the title and he made his money and he's kind of cashed out. So I'm ready to steal his shine. Now it's time to come see the man, the real champion, the people's champion, the king of Miami, and the most important title, Megan, which you know more than anybody, the Donald Trump's favorite fighter. Champion incontesté, tombeur d'une légende. Pourtant, dans cette histoire, Rocky n'est pas l'égal d'Apollo. Any other combat sport, the champ has, like yeah. Canelo has a say, Tyson Fury has yeah. a say. Do you not have a say? Look at the road I had to take to get there, right? 
there's no way you get beat twice by the guy. I just beat twice. Um, went out there, beat, win, beat, beat Master out, and then sit out for a year and a half. It makes no sense. Mate, it's then the white privilege is there for real. <laughs> En un geste, on peut changer sa vie pour toujours. Mais pour marquer l'histoire, il faudra gesticuler encore et encore. With that, the social media era, I think everyone's so focused on building this character that they're taking away from that show what they need to do to be a world champion. Or the history books and say well, what, what you did, you know, not, not what you said. I think my history books is, is getting written perfectly right now. Celle qui me pousse à pliable En surface tu me crois heureux mais j'encaisse grave Le manque n'est pas toujours matériel Certaines souffrances sont plus rebelles Parfois le besoin nécessite réponse à l'appel Celui qui a fait un peu se débrouiller pour manger Mais rien pour le cœur Je trouverai pas d'amour en sachet Les sentiments par acquisition Ça n'existe pas en liave ce qu'on n'a pas Mais l'affection ça se charbonne pas Se cacher derrière un spliff et une saison on l'a tous fait Mais c'est pas pour ça que tout s'arrange En fait tu ne fais qu'étouffer On ne cesse jamais de se faire bouffer Qu'une oreille soit prête à t'écouter Pourquoi faut-il mourir pour se sentir aimé La solitude c'est pire qu'une fracture irréparée Dans le noir, la fierté se brise à cause des larmes Rien ne remplace le geste, même pas le fric, même pas la gloire Rien ne remplace le geste, même pas le cadeau Rien ne remplace l'amour, même pas le geste Gesticule dans ce monde, prouve que tu existes Sans amour dans le cœur, y'a que le mur qui résiste Rien ne remplace le geste, même pas le cadeau Rien ne remplace l'amour, même pas le geste Gesticule dans ce monde, prouve que tu existes Sans amour dans le cœur, 